CGI guys, my name is Jan White and welcome to this new Blender tutorial where we're today going to create a scene with this cookie. So the first thing we're going to do is shoot our textures. So in order to get the light from everywhere, I use this little setup. I also use the softbox. Wait, where's my cookie? I picked up my camera and shoot those two textures. To make the side textures, I use the clone tool. Then you import your image into Photoshop or After Effects and use the polar coordinates. To get rid of the scene, you can easily use the clone tool again. You're probably thinking, why do you use After Effects for this texture, picture thing? Um, because, to be honest, I don't know Photoshop. So, uh, if you can do Photoshop, do it in Photoshop. So, I finished the texture and this is the final result. Uh, let's go into modeling. So, let's go and model our cookie. First of all, we're going to delete our cube. Then we're going to add in a background image. Let's see, um, should be right here. Then we go to view, view perspective of ortho, and we go to the top view. Let's see, press it again. There we go. And there we have our background image. Then we're gonna add in a circle. Let's see, a circle. And you don't have to do anything here. It should be on nothing, and that's really good. That's just nice. Then we go into edit mode. And we're gonna line this up like this. I'm gonna press A to scale another one up. Okay, and line that up as well. I'm gonna go to wireframe really quick so I can see it some better. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw lines between all those little bumps right here. So uh little time lapse, let's go. So I gone ahead and make those lines uh, between those bumps and now we're gonna select every face like this and we're gonna just one for one give it a little Z space, I'm sorry, like this. I'm gonna extrude it all. Don't worry when it's not even, we're gonna fix that later on. Then you select them all and you're gonna press scale S Z and then null dot like two. So it's almost even again. I'm gonna bring it down as well. And then we're gonna go here and set individual origins. We're gonna scale it down a lot and we're gonna bring it down again. Really don't need that much. Oh, this is... Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go and give this guy a texture. Let's go and give this guy a material. I'm going here and say image texture. Open it up. Uh, oh, I don't have to do this. I just can select it right there. I'm going to select everything in edit mode and press U. And then project from view. Go here to the UV image editor. We're gonna select our texture again. Project from view. Okay, and then we're gonna match it perfectly. Like this. So if we go into material, it's now perfect. Okay, that's great. Then we go to edge mode, press Alt, select those, select this curve, uh, circle right there. Gonna bring it down and scale it down. And there we go. There we go, magically. If I go into edit mode. Okay, I think those bumps can have some more. So I'm gonna go to face mode and select all those bumps. I see you in a second. Let's go and work on the materials. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this diffuse 
to a PBR dielectric. This dielectric, this uh, shader is from uh, Blender Guru. You should download it, you should uh, follow that tutorial. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this, duplicate this, and we're gonna add in a mix shader. Also, get a converter and a color ramp. Let's put it right there, okay? And just for the sake, so I can see it, I'm going to set this color into that one really quick. Let's go into the preview, like that. I only want to see this one. This is just because I can see it. And what we're going to try to do is those, those bumps, we want to have only black. Oh, no, not that. Yeah. And the not bumps, we want to have completely white. This is too much. We want to separate those like this. Okay, we're coming closer. Okay, like that. We're going to set it into the factor. And you can go right there again. Why are we doing this? Well, now we can uh, control the roughness partly. So I want to be... Why? Oh. So I want to um, have this bumps has to be more reflective than like the cookie himself. So we're gonna add in some maps. I made these maps with a crazy bump, but you probably don't have that. Uh, I have a tutorial on making maps, so you can follow that. But there are also a couple of online uh, services that you can use to make maps. The first map we're gonna open up is the normal map. Add, oh, add also a normal map, like that. Set this to non-color data, really important. See the change. And, um, okay, that's quite good. And let's add also a bump. And you're probably thinking, why a bump? Well, we're gonna use the displace as a bump. Sorry, displace. You can get the textures, by the way, on my site in the link on the description. So don't worry. If you if you want this those textures, you can just download them right there. Okay, let's see how it looks right now. Okay, I think the bump and the normal map looks good, but the, it's obviously way too glossy. So let's give it a little bit of a roughness. Wait, we're gonna add a map for that too. I'm such a stupid guy. So we're gonna add a map that's called Specular. We can set the roughness to that one and also the roughness to that one. Look at that. And we're gonna add a less or more slider to both of them. Wow, this is chaos. This is chaos. <laughs> I will give an overview. Uh, I want to have less on this one. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. But right now it looks like a brick. It looks very hot, like stone. It, it's, it's because there is no subsurface scattering. So we're going to duplicate the mix shader. We're going to add uh, add in a shader a subsurface scattering then we as you can see this looks this looks really awesome I love it and we're gonna set the color into the color obviously and actually I like this already this is already really good but this is way too much of course obviously there's almost no glossy anymore so uh, this is too much gloss to fix that a little bit this also and by the way I think this is not smooth enough as you can see there's two hard lines so we're gonna fix that in a second uh, I actually I love the subsurface scattering how it is right now so I'm, I can do it right now um, set this to smooth yeah let's uh, let's uh, set make it a little bit smoother I'm gonna add in a subdiverse surface, still don't know how you pronounce it. And we go into edit mode. We're gonna press Ctrl R to make this look good again. Don't forget 
to press correct UVs because otherwise you're gonna mess things up okay how does it look right now and I'm pretty pretty happy with that I'm really happy with that so um, I think that's the tutorial for right now let's uh, give this guy a little background plain so this was the tutorial for now uh, I hope you like it of course I want to give a really 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 big shout out to Blendmaster uh, he helped me with my channel and we're gonna collaborate co collaborate uh, we're gonna work together and uh, make me a tutorial video together I hope that's gonna work out properly well uh, we figure it out and um, I hope to see you next time thanks for watching subscribe do it or do it not dislike if you dislike okay I should have ended uh, already I'm gonna cut it out I'm, I'm not gonna okay still talk you still here Wow you're hardcore man great great I'm gonna I, I'm gonna end Okay? No, you're gonna end. No. No. Okay. Okay. It's 10 minutes now, right? Okay. So I, g <laughs> I can end. Bye!